Well, good morning. It's Michael DeVille, and it's December 5th, 2020. Tuesday, in the live webinar, we were talking about a universe of homes for our investment properties. Now, I want to clarify this, is that the universe of homes are properties that we've already done the research for these particular areas. We know that they're going to, they're going to fit when it comes to growth patterns. So we know that they're appreciating well. We know that the rent is increasing. We know it's a high demand area. We know that the areas have all the amenities. We have good schools, good transportation, uh, good shopping and uh, trans uh, transportation, banking, um, entertainment, all within a few minutes of it. And of course, most of our properties are within five, 10, 15 minutes of one of the major freeways and they're able to get almost everywhere they need to go reasonably quickly. This is what makes the universe of homes so appealing, is we've already done a lot of the research. We've also researched to make sure that the price and the rental uh, value are uh, in sync, and we get a return on investment because one of the factors is not only does it need to be growing and the rents be growing, but we need to be getting our return that's been benchmarked for our region. We need to either get that uh, benchmark or exceed it. And in the universe of homes, we have identified properties that do that. Now, within each universe of homes, properties are sold in, in ranges. So we know that there's a lower end and an upper end in the range. When one of the properties comes up for sale, we know where that property is in the uh, uh, in the price range. So let's say we have a property that sells somewhere between $280,000 and $320,000, $325,000 on the upper end. Now, you know each one of these properties is unique. After they've been on the market for 10 or 15 years, they're all in a little slightly different condition. Some properties are taken care of very, very well. They've been upgraded, they've been updated, they've been maintained. They command a higher price. If they have not been taken care of, then you get command a lower price. Oftentimes, a lower price is better for us and we'll come in and upgrade the properties. So if we have a range in one of our universal homes at uh, between 280 and 325 and a property comes out of market at 289.9, we know that this property is very well priced and probably on sale. And if we go in, we can uh, improve the property and raise it up to the standard in the neighborhood or above. And we can do that work ourselves, knowing full well our vendors, what kind of work they do, and how much this is gonna cost us. So that's in our universal home because we have already done the research and we're very, very knowledgeable about this. Now, one of the other benefits when you're working in a universal homes that you already are aware of is that you have properties and you know how long the roofs last, how long the air conditioning lasts. You know what kind of issues you're going to have within the community, within the within the uh, area. You know what kind of clients that you have because they all seem to typically go to this one. You, you typically know what your target market is. So you the research has already been done. <clears throat> and it just allows you to look into the marketplace, particularly when you're in a, a very... Um, aggressive marketplace where maybe there's there's not enough properties on the market where you have to sometimes make a decision fairly reasonably quickly if you're looking into a universe of homes you know these homes are going to work into your portfolio and it just makes your decision making that much quicker and much more confident now here we are in uh, in uh, our marketplace and we have lots and lots of choices there's good markets with every market across the United States will be doing well. Some of the better regions like Florida, Texas, and Arizona are going to be doing exceptionally well. Now, we're really, really good at what we do. We have a strategy. We have a plan as to how this works. If you'd like more information, you are welcome to email me at michael at michaeldeville.com. If you feel like you want to discuss or brainstorm with me, have your financial advisor, your spouse, we can all get on the phone together. I, I always suggest you work with your financial advisor. You can call to my corporate, 602-942-4200. And my very best to you. Bye-bye now.